Many of you are just getting started on YouTube, maybe even as a viewer. But let me ask you a question. When you first get to a YouTube channel, what are the things that form your first impression? Well, chances are you probably give channels and videos mere seconds to present value before you bounce out. I know it sounds brutal, but these are the things that your viewers might be experiencing if you're making any of these three branding mistakes. Hey guys, welcome to Film School for Marketers. I'm Zach, and today we're talking about the top three branding mistakes that I see businesses make on YouTube. Frankly, you might make incredibly valuable content, but if your channel doesn't communicate that at a first glance, you might be missing out on views and subscribers, and those missed opportunities are quite frankly immeasurable. One of the biggest mistakes I see on YouTube channels is a generic channel banner. This is just like a Facebook cover photo or what you'd see above the fold on a website. This is gonna form the biggest first impression for anybody visiting your channel. The most common mistake I see is just having a simple logo and a banner that doesn't communicate what the channel is actually about. This is a great opportunity to show exactly what type of content you're gonna be uploading to the channel, how often you're gonna upload new videos, as well as helpful links to your social media profiles or even your website. Having information like this in your channel banner gives context to the viewer and may mean the difference between gaining or losing a subscriber. The second biggest mistake that I see is inconsistent thumbnail design or not having custom thumbnails at all. The most basic strategy to get more views on your videos is to ensure that anyone who watches one of your videos watches multiple. And thumbnails are one of the most important click opportunities on YouTube. They're like a book cover for your video and it's going to ultimately set the expectation for what the viewer is gonna get out of that piece of content. Also, when you use a consistent thumbnail design, whether it's consistent colors or the same fonts or the same person, it makes it more easily recognizable in that suggested videos panel on the YouTube watch page. If you're making really valuable videos, then people are going to want to watch more. So if you make it easy to recognize those videos in the suggested videos panel, as well as in search engine results, you're gonna get more views from existing viewers. If you'd like, you can download our YouTube templates pack to help you maintain this consistent design across the board. It has a custom channel banner template, a end screen template, as well as a custom thumbnail template. So make sure you grab that. The third biggest mistake I see people make with their YouTube channel is not having a channel trailer. Imagine being able to shake the hand and formally introduce yourself to everyone who came to your channel. Well, you can't actually do that, but the channel trailer is a great way to give that first impression and introduce yourself to the viewer. Channel trailers are shown to viewers who haven't yet subscribed to your channel. And much like a movie trailer, this is your opportunity to introduce the viewer to everything your channel has to offer. Obviously be creative and make it your own, but here's a simple formula you can follow to make sure you get everything you need in your trailer. First, introduce yourself and your company to the viewer. Next, explain the type of content you plan to upload. And then finally, explain how often. And don't forget, at the very end, be sure to ask them to subscribe. Simply asking the viewer to do that is gonna go a long way. Now, all three of these elements are gonna help you create that cohesive, slick looking brand on YouTube. But I wanna tell you about one mistake that you definitely cannot make on YouTube if you plan to be successful here. And that is using YouTube as some sort of bolt on to your social media strategy. The thing is, YouTube is more than just a search engine or a video hosting platform. It's a thriving social media community where people come to enjoy visual content. So my recommendation is that you actually name your channel. Whether that's a learning channel or a learning community or something along those lines, make it look and feel like it's something special for YouTube and it's not just a place where you upload videos for free video hosting. The most wildly successful channels that I've worked with and the ones that I've seen really crush it on YouTube have mastered one essential branding philosophy, and that's establishing a sense of community. Well guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up below. I'd love to hear your comments, so put this in the comment section. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We want you to stick around and get even more information about how to be a more effective video marketer and make really highly cinematic content. And until I see you next time, guys, keep learning.